dangerous forever chemicals are in the water we drink. And tonight, for the first time, the federal government is taking action to limit our exposure. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett's been looking into this. She joins us live in the studio tonight. So, Lindsay, what's being done and will anything work? Right. Well, it's a scary fact, but about 97% of Americans have these chemicals in our blood. They're called PFAS. And now the EPA is issuing federal limits, which the agency says will prevent thousands of deaths and tens of thousands of serious illnesses. But as I found out, even if you limit exposure in drinking water, these chemicals are all around us. These chemicals are everywhere. PFAS, or forever chemicals, are found in everything from our shampoo to nonstick cookware to the water we drink. Growing research shows these chemicals are linked to serious health risks, including cancer, heart disease, and decreased fertility. Now, the Environmental Protection Agency is putting a federal limit on six PFAS levels allowed in public water systems, the equivalent of four drops in 20 Olympic-sized swimming pools. This is going to reduce human exposure, but it doesn't eliminate it. Dr. Leanne Kremitas at Virginia Tech says the challenge will be ensuring small and rural municipal water systems can get the funding for the testing and filtration equipment needed. It's going to take very advanced treatment to remove that PFAS and then to destroy or, you know, get rid of any PFAS that was removed from the water. We're creating a hazardous waste. And so that is a burden that is then going to have to be borne by the customers. And if you have fewer customers or you're in a rural area with very intricate distribution systems, it's going to be more difficult and more costly. If you're on private well water, you're out of luck. It's really on them both to monitor whether it's there and then to fix the problem themselves. And it can get expensive. Dwayne Roadcap with the Virginia Department of Health says there's ongoing research on the long-term side effects of PFAS on our health. A lifetime exposure increases your risk to the illness. Kremitis adds, while PFAS are nearly impossible to avoid, working to eliminate them can help reduce other contaminants. If we take care of PFAS, we're also going to be improving our water quality in terms of all those other contaminants. VDH says millions of dollars are available to address these forever chemicals, with an additional billion dollars in funding just announced by the Biden administration. But experts say that it could take more money to tackle the problem. All right, so I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. I don't know about everybody else, but this is a little horrifying. Is there anything we can do? Right, so sadly, even if you want to try bottled water because you're worried about your tap water, sure. these chemicals leak from the plastic. So you can call your local water authority to find out if they've tested your public water to see if there are high levels. The Virginia Department of Health also has an online PFAS dashboard, and you can also test the water yourself and buy filtration equipment, but it's very specific and can be extremely extremely expensive and we're talking hundreds or thousands of dollars. Okay, thank you. So it's not much, not, not very easy to hide. From Unfortunately, it. as uh, the Virginia Tech professor told me today, it's sort of the, the expense of, of modern day living.